Next, a New Jersey-based company is celebrating 90 years of business. Metropolitan Window Fashions opened their doors in 1934, and now it's run by a third generation. Bruce Hyman, owner of Metropolitan Window Fashion, joins us now. Good morning, Bruce. Hi, Dina. Thank you so much for being in studio with us. This is really exciting. <laughs> what a great way to celebrate. <laughs> so your grandfather, Philip Hyman, founded the business in 1934 in Plainfield. So tell us about how the business changed over the decades. Well, I think uh, two big changes are um, uh, motorized shades and uh, in the fabrics, the, the wealth of fabrics that we have now. So uh, you're probably too young to remember crank windows in your car, but we like to use that as an analogy for um, motorized window coverings, which is now half of our sales. Okay. So, and motorized window coverings are not just about convenience and the fact that you shouldn't have to get out of bed to raise and lower your shades, uh, but it also help with um, energy savings. Uh, because uh, we sell energy saving products but if the shades are in the wrong position you're not maximizing your energy efficiency and um, the other thing is is the fabrics we just have 70,000 fabrics my grandfather had you know a couple hundred fabrics to choose from we have 70,000 beautiful fabrics from all over the world so now your third generation mm -hmm. owner how did you get into the family business you know I did not go into the business right out of college so actually I worked in New York City for about eight years I was in the travel industry and uh, when I did come to work for my dad, um, it, was, it worked out better, I think, because the employees respected me. I was coming in not as the boss's kid, but as someone who had real world experience. And I think that that helped my dad's relationship uh, with me because you know, we respected each other in my eight years outside the business. I owned a business, I, I bought a business, I sold a business. So I had some real world experience to bring and, and I respected what he had accomplished. Mm -hmm. um, so we had a great working relationship from the day I walked in there to you know nine years later when he retired. That's great to hear. There's mm -hmm. something special about working with family and continuing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on a legacy. And I'm guessing that things have changed over the years in terms of window coverings. You mentioned the mm -hmm. original inspiration mm -hmm. was cranking right, the right, window. Right, 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 right. <laughs> there. Mm -hmm. So how has the landscape changed over the years? It's just, um, you know, people think that, oh, I can just go to the store and buy one window mm -hmm. covering, but um, it's really a layered approach now. And um, so we consider the shades and blinds to be the privacy layer, privacy and light control. We consider draperies to be the design layer. And in both of those elements, shades and blinds or draperies, uh, bring insulation, they bring uh, sound absorption, depending on you know, what products you buy. But they really need to be in, in combination uh, to, to maximize uh, energy efficiency and also to bring you know, a sense of style and, and a beautiful aesthetic to your home. Now, you've been in this for a number of years. What advice would you give other business owners who hope for a fraction of Metropolitan's longevity? Well, uh, you know, you're going to work hard um, and, uh, and there's going to be a lot of stress mm -hmm. and um, uh, I think that, uh, listen, be honest. You have to be honest every day. Um, you have to respect everybody. You have to respect mm -hmm. employees. You have to respect customers. You have to respect um, vendors. Uh, listen. Um, it helps to have a, a partner at home who's going to listen to your complaints when you come <laughs> home. And, <laughs> <That's key. laughs> um, uh, and I think that... Um, it's also important to you know have an escape because you're going to be thinking about your business you know every minute of the day so it's important to have whether it be a hobby or a place to go something to escape to get away from it all because you really need to kind of you know uh, relax a little bit so you can get back to to work the next day with a fresh approach i love that 360 mm -hmm. approach mm -hmm. not just business but mm -hmm. business mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know work mm -hmm. and play mm -hmm. is important mm -hmm. so speaking of play mm -hmm. is there anything special you're doing to celebrate this milestone Absolutely. So it's our 90th anniversary. So we're having a $9,000 Hunter Douglas uh, gift certificate contest. So Hunter wow. Douglas is our big vendor. We're giving away a $9,000 uh, gift certificate. So that's one contest we're having. Uh, you can find that on our website, windowfashions.com. And we're also having a customer longevity contest. You oh, know, wow. Who's been shopping there the longest? I mean, I know many people have shopped in my dad's store in the 60s, but is there anybody out there shopped in my grandfather's store in the 40s and 50s? Wow. Um, and finally, um, you know, ripping off ESPN's 30 for 30 idea, we are shooting <laughs> 90 videos for 90 years. So we're celebrating 90 years wow. with 90 short videos on our social, on Facebook, on Instagram. You can follow us. 
I think we're up to about 36, and we've got 45 uh, wow. that have been shot. And so we'll have 90 videos to capture the 90-year history. That's amazing. You certainly have a lot for customers to look forward to. Mm -hmm. i got to sign up for that $9,000 <laughs> sweepstakes there. You can do sure. that. <laughs> Bruce, thank you so much for joining us mm -hmm. this morning, and congratulations mm -hmm. on such a wonderful milestone. Thank you, Dina. Up next, we talk to a New Jersey author 